check out my pour. I did good. Wow, man. I did real good. <laughs> look at that. Look at the cells in it. So I just, I brought in this um, chair that I had. Oh, I'm sorry. I brought in this table I had and I put cardboard around the edge and taped it up real good and put a, an old shower curtain um, that I just threw, was gonna throw away. I put it all here so I can use it for my pours. So now I got a really cool table to do pours. And for some reason, I just did a really, really good one. <laughs> This is the best pour I've ever done, and I didn't videotape it. Man, it's pretty big, too. I don't know. It's probably... Um, let me measure it. All right. It is... Okay. It's 12 by 12 square. Yeah, 12 by 12. 12 by 12. 12 by 12. Well, I guess it's like 31 cents. But 12 by 12 inches. <laughs> Man, I really did good. Oh, man, I'm really, really happy. I used these colors. Oh, they're in the box right now. Um, but let me show you the colors I did. All right. I used, okay. I used this red. That's a um, cadmium red, medium hue. Uh, for the green, it was hooker's green hue permanent love the name of that so it's one of my favorite acrylic paints hooker's green <laughs> oh for the yellow i use this um it was it is um primary yellow primary yellow and um, um the blue is um cerulean blue and the purple is just violet Mostly art, all artist love stuff. I got, I got a bin of crappy acrylic paints that my husband does not like. So he gave them all to me. And so now I'm, that's what I'm doing with them. I'm do, trying to do pours. So, and then what I do is, um, if I got some extra ones, I put them, because I, I mix them up in these little Dixie cups. And then I just, I put them in this box and they stay like tomorrow they will still be good they won't be dried out so um i would i would tell you if you want to do acrylics and stuff acrylic pours and stuff get one of these boxes they're a um it's really i got it at walmart it's really a box to put your like papers in um and notebooks and just to put them, i don't know why you put them in a box but whatever that is what it's for so yep um so thanks for joining me, man. Um, I can't believe how good of a job I did. I'm really excited. I wish I, um, I wish I made a video and showed you how I did that. <laughs> hey, so I paused it and I'm gonna do some on camera. <laughs> so what I did was I mixed a couple more. Um, mixed them up a little bit more and they're a little bit more watery than, than the last time and what I do is I actually I, I make my own this isn't the one I'm using but I'm using this container because this is the first one I bought but I made my own medium by adding um, water and well white glue <laughs> they call it PVC glue or PCV glue I don't know but Anyway, um, I used, um, here it is, here it is, I'm coming. <laughs> I used this white glue and then I add water. Now I add water to it and then I add it to the paint. And then sometimes I have to add a little bit more water to it because it's, it's, it's too thick because I'm not, you know, very good at this. And I also use this um, silicone oil to make the cells, to make little, it makes like de decorations inside the paint. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna show you how I start. Anyway, um, this is just the medium and the, what kind of white paint is it? Soft body acrylic white paint and a little bit of water. I didn't put any silicone in this.
try to put it all over so it kind of is a little smooth. Let's see. And this is actually a lot of fun. So if you ever um, want a fun experience doing art, <laughs> This acrylic pour stuff is really fun. It's a bit, it's a nice break from doing my um, art class on the, on Taken by Turner Vincent. Um, I needed a little bit of a break. Oh, I got some paint there. That's okay. <laughs> Whatever. doesn't have to be um well in my in my world it <laughs> doesn't have to be perfect at all so okay um always have a little towel here i do not have my art um overalls i usually do and i don't know where it is i don't know where i put it i gotta find it so i think i'm gonna start like with a darker color so let me start with the green all right i'm gonna start with the green let's see i'm gonna go i'm gonna do it which way you know what Hmm. I'm going to do it this way. I'm do like the number four. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, a little purple. Oh, you know what? I just poured all the green on this one and didn't put any on there. I got to remember I need a little bit for that so this one's gonna be a little different that's all right I'll do something different here mm -hmm. okay uh, let's see why don't we start oh 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 I'm gonna do the yellow now So yeah, they're going to be a little different. Okay, maybe a little bit more yellow. Okay. Maybe I'll come back with the yellow. Who knows? <laughs> okay. This is so much fun, I'm telling you. It's, it's so um, satisfying, especially when you get it, especially when you, you see the end. Sometimes it doesn't turn out good, so whatever. But at least you had fun doing it. And then, but a lot of times it just does come out good because, you know, it's kind of um, abstract. So who, who's to say it's not good, right? All right, um, let me see. Oh, 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 let me see. Let me see if I can get a little green in here. Little. Yeah, I got a little bit of green in. Okay, all right. Now, all right. Wipe off my hands a little bit. All right, here we go. We're going to use a blow dryer. Now, I have to say that this blow dryer only blows hot air. I bought it for like, I don't know, $5 at Walmart. I didn't even realize it, but um, get a, a cheap blow dryer that does not have heat. It's, um, then it won't, you know, it'll be better if it didn't have heat, but whatever, it's okay. <laughs> You know what? Hold on. Okay. Now the 
heat gun that takes away bubbles and it also makes the cells come out a little better. Um, this doesn't really blow any air, but it does get hot. <laughs> and makes the cells, see all these bubbles? It makes them come out more. But it also um, kills the bubbles that could get on there. Then they'll pop out. Um, you know, to be honest, I've seen, uh, it seems like those little, the cells come out without using the heat gun. Um, so I really don't know what the heat gun's for. So I might be wrong about it, making the cells pop out more, but it might, might not. I'm not sure. I don't think you need one, to be honest with you. Um, anyway, um, ta -ta they look pretty good, right? Um, I really like them. Here, I'll come up a little closer for you. Hold on. There it is. Okay. <laughs> right, now, hold on for one second. I'm going to take them off out of the um, table, the pouring table that I've created. I'm going to put them on a piece of paper so you can see them more better. Okay. Check it out. Check it out. This is my husband's side, and he, he, um, he doesn't do art as much as me he's working on paintings and stuff like that but he you know he's got a job <laughs> so um, that's why I end up coming over here and letting my stuff dry on the floor over by his side but not, that one came out really cool right and again this one looks a little Christmassy to me maybe I'll do like a well I don't know what I'm gonna do with that but I like it it's still pretty I know. Yep. And then there's that. And ta -da, and then that one. So I think it did pretty good. So hope you enjoyed that. Um, have a great day, guys. You guys are awesome.